Oh my gosh! Well, oh well, oh well. Y'all are not gonna believe what I have here. <laughs> I just went and picked up the new Color Wild Dream Coat. Not just the regular Dream Coat that we've used in the past. This is the Extra Strength. Now, if you've been here for a while, then you remember that we used the Color Wild Dream Coat on our natural hair previously when it first came out or when it was viral on TikTok. And literally, it went crazy, okay? And honestly, I have been implementing that product in my routine for a very long time since then and also still have a lot of you. So in today's video, when I found out that they came out with the extra strength, y'all knew for sure I had to go pick it up and I'm reviewing it for y'all today. Now, if you are new to your channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. We do beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, luxury, hair, the whole nine over here. So if you like that, you will love this. Now, just a little FYI about this product. This product is supposed to make your hair quote unquote waterproof frizz proof let me show you how to take curly hair into straight sleek hydrated locks color wow extra strength guys look how intensely shiny this hair is just from blow drying it and the best part about it is it's waterproof so that whenever you go outside whenever you straighten your hair so whenever we get our silk presses it does not revert our hair back to curly nor does it frizz at all or as much so what i'm really interested in seeing with this review is how much extra strength is in this extra strength version of the color wow and is it gonna make my silk press sleek 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 for weeks or like what are we talking about here you know what i'm saying also y'all i live in austin texas and if you know anything about texas it's hot especially because right now we are in july slash august so it's 118 degrees outside it's very humid outside so y'all are going to be getting a real understanding of what is this product going to be doing for this natural hair I'm gonna go wash my hair first and come back and we're gonna get into the review. Hair is washed. Let's get to business, baby. So I'm gonna be going in with this product on my hair and I have absolutely nothing in it whatsoever. I don't even think I'm gonna put any product in it. I think I'm gonna just do the color wow. Last time I put like a heat protectant and all that in my hair and honestly, you don't need that because this product has heat protectant in it. But the only thing with me is I just don't know if I want to, I just don't know if I trust that it's gonna give my hair enough moisture that it needs to like only use this product and this product only, you know what I'm saying? But I don't wanna use a serum because with this product, other products can throw it off. So I really just wanna do the color wow only and just see like what it's gonna give. So the first step is to saturate the hair in sections. So we gonna spray it liberally. I'm saturating my hair so much, y'all. All right, it is soaking, soaking wet. And this product is also tension activated. So we're gonna use the pattern blow dryer with the brush attachment to blow dry. Okay, this section has been blow dried out. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, my hair did feel a little stiff. Like it, when I, like it kind of still feels a little stiff. It most definitely feels more on the dry side, but it's also for a silk press, so I'm not expecting it to be, you know, moisturized because that will turn into oil. So yeah, just a little honest observation. It does feel a little more on the drier side. All right, I'm going in with the next section. I'm going to really saturate it. One thing I realized is it's probably smarter to saturate the whole head first before doing sections because you don't want the part you already did to get wet. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and this product is heat activated, so you have to use heat, like a heat setting tool, as well as tension when you're blow drying your hair out in order for it to be activated. One section done, y'all. Let's keep going. All right, y'all, I'm done with this side, the whole half of my head. A few observations while we're halfway through that I've recognized is, this didn't happen to me last time. I don't know if it's because like it's the extra strength one, but look at my blow dryer, y'all. It is filled with 
all of these hard white it's like residue I'm not sure if this is like the silicone that's in the product or what because I know that a lot of silicones are in this product but it's literally like so much just sticky residue which is kind of weird actually it's very disgusting <laughs> this did not happen to me whatsoever last time so I'm actually very shocked by this and it's also very sticky and this is actually how like my hair feels as well when I'm like in the process of blow drying it it feels like it's very like that sticky tough type of feeling also one other thing I want to note just from using this product and by me only using this product alone I will say make sure that you deep condition your hair really well before you decide to use this product if you're only going to be applying this product and this product only for your silk press just so your strands could be moisturized and hydrated now with the blow dry and i will say my blow dry it looks way more poofy than what it normally does but anyway let's move on and now we're going to a flat iron and i'm going to be using my chi flat iron on 380 because the Color Wild protects up to 385, I believe it is. No, up to 380. So I'm gonna use it on 380 and we're going to start flat ironing. Here we go. aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are like halfway done with this one side. And excuse me, are we seeing the sleekness? I'm so shocked right now because girl, uh, what i just knew that from seeing this side i was like i didn't do something right and i mean no i still could have done something wrong but i feel like right now i'm feeling real confident Whew, whole side's done now we can move on to this side all right y'all we are fully done with the silk press let me just tell y'all a few things before i continue okay moment of truth so i mean moment of honesty flat out of my hair on 380 was not enough whatsoever to get a sleek silk press i still could have gone higher because honestly i decided to go up to 400 and i also used the cheat oil that has a heat protectant in it so i applied that and then i went up to 400 and did both sides of my hair and as you can tell like it's silky but i still feel like it could be better as far as like i most definitely could have gone up to like 425 and gotten a more straighter result i feel like a more silk press result but not to say that i'm not happy with the results because i really do like how it looks but i just want to be you know completely honest about what i did do in order to achieve the look also let me say before we get into the moment of truth my hair with just the dream coat alone was not enough whatsoever y'all like my hair was stiff and i realized that this product is for all textures so if it's gonna make someone with like a really, really fine texture hair actually work, then it's gonna need a little bit more reinforcement even still for my texture, you know what I'm saying? So most definitely I would say apply a product after the blow drying stage like I just now did in order to get a more silk pressed result. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, let's get into the moment of truth. All right, y'all, here's my steamer. So this time we are going to actually use the steamer and am i really about to do this this is so crazy so we're gonna actually use the steamer y'all and steam up and down one side of my head to see if it's going to change whatsoever i can't believe i'm gonna do this like i just spent so much time on this dog on silk press like 
Am I really about to do this? <laughs> the steam is coming, y'all. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. Like, all that I can do is, all that I can do. Okay, hold on. Like, the drop of water was something different. Okay, that was easy. This, this is next level. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see something happening? Do y'all see something happening? Okay, I'm going to the bottom. Oh my gosh! Okay, it's coming out fast now. Do y'all see any difference? Do y'all see a change? I kind of do feel like I see a change. Okay, all right, I'm turning it off. So this is about one minute of the steamer being on this side. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I see a change. I see more frizz. Do y'all see the frizz on this side? It most definitely got a tad bit more frizzy for sure. Like, you, you see the dent, right? Compared to this side where it's more just straight and sleek. This side most definitely got altered a little bit, but not immensely to where like, I feel like it could be worse. I ain't gonna lie, but I do feel like there's a difference. And I don't like that. I don't like that to say it's extra strength. I feel like it should have did better. Now, let me just do the water droplet test because that's what I did last time. So let's just do that again. Okay, I got the water. I'm gonna just have to do the water droplets this time with like putting it in my hand and then dropping it on my hair because I don't have the dropper. All right, let's go. <laughs> so y'all see how it's gonna drop out, right? Okay. Wait, it rolled off, wait. Okay, wait, some of it's rolling off. Y'all see the ones that's like literally rolling off though? All right, y'all, so I just did both of the tests and let me just say like, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. I really am because I thought that this was gonna be a more shocking review. And it also says, now that I'm reading, it says it's ultra moisturizing. I just don't feel like it did what it claimed to do as far as like it being a step up from the original color wall. And I literally followed the directions y'all to a T until I had to add another product to it, which was after the blow drying process. So I didn't apply any other products in my hair other than the Color Wow to blow dry it out and everything. So I just feel like compared to the other one, it's not that much of an improvement. You know what I mean? And that's kind of upsetting to say, but it's the truth. And I really do still like the original, but I don't know. I'm just not really loving this one. You guys let me know what y'all think in the comments. If y'all think I did something wrong, which I don't feel like I did, but if y'all think y'all have any kind of feedback or what's y'all's thoughts? Do y'all feel like it just ain't made for our hair? Like the extra strength just didn't do something right. Maybe it was too much silicones in it because the brush was looking real weird. So I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think, but I'm gonna still wear this silk press. Also let me know if you guys want just like a normal wear test without, you know, going to the extreme to put it to the test. Let me know if y'all want that in the comments. I'm probably gonna go just like re-flat iron these parts cause it is like, y'all can tell it's a little bit more frizzy right here where the steam hit it. Um, but yeah, girl, I don't know. I really wanted to love it. I wanted it to be like, oh my gosh, you know, but I have to keep it real with y'all. I have to be honest with y'all. And this one just was not giving that to me, y'all, which I'm so upset about. Cause y'all know I rocks with Color Wild, okay? Like, if it's good, I'm gonna tell y'all it's good. So anyway, that's the end of today's review, y'all. Let me know what y'all thought, what y'all think in the comments down below. If you are new to your channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you over here. And I'm gonna see y'all in my next video slash vlog and vlog. Maybe Chris Appleton himself could do my hair and then we could really see what's going on. <laughs> Just put that.
out there. Just put it out there. All right. <laughs> Bye, y'all.